One of the economic theories that has made a lasting impression on me is the solo growth model engineered by Nobel Prize winning economist Robert Solo. In his theory of economic growth, Solo argued that in order to achieve steady economic growth, a country must save and invest in the capital stock. The capital stock includes the machines and buildings that workers need to produce goods and services. The model predicts that if a country saves and invests to cover the depreciation of the capital stock, production or GDP will grow at a steady state or at a constant level over time. In other words, if we invest in our infrastructure, we can ascertain steady economic growth over the long run. An extension of the model considers human capital and natural resources important inputs in the production process. Human capital refers to the educational achievement of the population or the acquisition of knowledge. If we accept that educational achievement is important in economic growth, what would be the effect on output if we had inequality in education? For example, if some people had access to a good education and others did not. If natural resources are important in the production process, what would be the impact of global warming on natural resources and hence economic growth? If we look at economic growth in the past few years, we notice that it has been weak. We have seen declines in GDP growth, and we can't seem to reach steady growth. The solo growth model predicts that if we save and invest in the capital stock per worker, we can attain steady economic growth. Are we making the kinds of investments that will get the economy back on track?